Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am not wearing any lipstick besides lip liner and uh, that is because we are going to be doing a review of REM Beauty uh, lipsticks. So I bought all of the lipsticks and this is gonna be a part one of the review because part two is gonna have eyeshadow palettes, lip glosses, like literally everything else. And I am so excited to share it with you guys and tell you guys my opinions. Make sure you subscribe before you get into the video, but without further ado, let's get into it. We have the REM Beauty package um, and it has the little logo and then it says scan for exclusive content. So I'm just going to take my phone. There's like a QR code. Tell me why my phone doesn't recognize my face ID. Oh, okay. So it's this picture right here. Uh, can you see it? Yeah. Okay. It says, thank you for your purchase. Show us your looks by tagging REM flight crew and at REM beauty for a chance to be featured. And then it says loading chapter two at the bottom. Let's get into this. So this is all like recyclable packaging, which is great. I see my little lipsticks are at the bottom. It's got this like consistent gray packaging um, that is kind of her aesthetic for the brand. And here are my beautiful little lipsticks. Oh my gosh. And I think these just restocked. So this is like perfect timing because you guys can buy these if you end up really liking them. Here are my beautiful, stunning little lipsticks. I'll show you. I'll just pick like one packaging. Okay, so we have Bubbly, a little sticker and the name. It's like not loading, but, and then it has REM Beauty. I'm sure you guys have seen the packaging online, but it is just as cool as, in person as it is online. Swipe on this ultra smooth matte formula for rich color. I'm excited to try this. The packaging feels super heavy, so let's open up this bubbly one. Okay, so immediately there's a little plastic wrap over the uh, lipstick, which I actually really like. Um, it's kind of like a random thing, but... I don't know, it just makes it feel like the product is like brand new, like it literally just came from the factory kind of vibes. Um, and I think that is a little bit of the aesthetic, like kind of like an engineering sort of look um, from what I saw. And here is the gorgeous, gorgeous little lipstick. How pretty is that? I love the packaging. I know there was so much hate over like, well, I, I don't know if it was hate or if it was like a back and forth and some people liked it, some people didn't. Um, this like spaceship kind of vibe packaging, um, but it feels like pretty expensive. It feels pretty luxurious. Um, so I don't know. Some people were saying like, oh, it looks so cheap, but I don't know. It feels pretty good for what I paid. Okay, they're $19. That's actually really good. And like, this feels really nice for 19. This is magnetic. So yeah, the magnet is pretty strong and it does say REM on it. So that is cute. I'm gonna just like swatch this on my... Oh wow, that is so creamy. Oh, I didn't even show you what it looks like. Oh, sorry. Okay, I already busted up. <laughs> I already busted up the top of the lipstick, but it says REM. I'll show you guys like a brand brand new one because I literally swatched it once and already busted up the freaking lipstick. This is what the color looks like on my arm. It's so, so pretty and it's really, really soft. Like I'm so excited to just throw this on my face. Um, so let's do that. This is so, so nice. It's so like moisturizing even though it's like a matte lipstick like i don't understand how it works because i have like mac lipsticks but they're not as creamy as this like this is really really creamy and soft on your lips which is so nice um and i like this color i'm not really like a beigey kind of girl and i think like all of these shades are like different shades of beige so but it is nice to have neutrals because i'm always going for like the pinkier sort of shades and i can maybe do some like different looks with this which i really like bubbly is supposed to be a pink oh it's like a beigey pink actually i think the website says so it definitely is that um i don't know these lighter pink shades i feel like they just don't look good on me because my skin tone is already like super light so i like to go like a little bit darker as far as the formula goes very pigmented it goes on so smooth which i love um and it's super like moisturizing the one thing i will say is this probably will come off pretty easy like if i do this yeah like it completely comes off so i don't know it doesn't really bother me that much but you will need to reapply this if you are using it like at a restaurant or something like that which i don't know because the mac ones are a little bit drier i don't they don't really come off as easily but this is a super comfortable formula so it's kind of just like pick and choose like what you guys would want you know okay so 
Roller Skates is a peachy pink beigey color. I'm kind of scared of this one. Like the lighter shades just scare me. I just don't, I don't know. I feel like they won't look good on me. So let's swatch this next to the original one. Okay, why did the lipstick come off inside of my sleeve? No! Okay, so, oh, this one looks a little bit darker. Not me flipping off. This one does look a little bit darker than this one. So I am curious to see how this will look on me. Obviously my wrist is a lot lighter than my actual face. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is at CozyGabby and this reel is about to be so cute. Um, okay, so this lipstick, right. I like this one better for sure. It's kind of hard to see because I'm like blinded by the ring light, um, but this one's really pretty. I like it. I can definitely see myself wearing this one a lot more. The other thing about, the, about these lipsticks that are gonna be great is because they're such neutral colors, like you're gonna be able to wear these literally like with anything you can wear them with like different lip liners underneath to kind of like m make the color whatever you want it to be um i just have like my regular lip liner which is the mac whirl um and that's like a rosy color which is really like what i typically go for so it definitely makes the lipsticks better so don't be afraid if some of these lipsticks are a lot lighter than what you would normally go for but you really like the color um go for a darker lip liner and just it'll blend in and it'll look so pretty so yeah this is what that one looks like and then let's try this drive-in movie one now this one looks like it's gonna be right up my alley because this one is starting to get a little bit darker and what is the color drive-in movie is a rose beige color this is gonna be me as a lipstick. I already know, I already know. Look at how pretty the packaging is. So exciting. Um, oh, this is a fresh one. I keep forgetting to show you guys when it's like fresh and not swatch it first. And I remember this time. So let me just give you the little grand reveal. Okay, oh, wait, this way. Can you see how pretty that is? Sorry, my hands are so dry. I just literally wash my hands all of the time because of the times that we are in. Um, but yeah, it's got like a textured. So you know how MAC has like a really shiny, sorry, this is like a mini side. The REM Beauty ones are really like textured. Like it, so I think the concept is to make it look like the moon or like the moon, like, like uh, ground, I guess. Moon launch. <laughs> Why can I not describe it? But you know what I mean? If you guys have seen her like ad content, um, it's been about like moon, moon landing stuff. So I think this texture is supposed to go with that, which is really cool. And um, that's definitely something different that I haven't seen. So progressively getting darker. I really like the way that the shades are progressing. So the Huda Beauty Matte Lipstick is the one, this little like tiny dot. And it's a very similar color. I would actually say that the Huda Beauty one is more pigmented and I think it's because the formula of this one is just so creamy that you can't get as much pigment in it as this like matte, super matte, uh, drier, just something for you guys to know. This is my color. I like this even more than the Huda Beauty one because it's like pinkier. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, sorry if I just broke your ears if you're listening on headphones. If you get one color, get this color, okay? Just get this color, please just, this is just, I mean, if you don't already have this type of color in your collection, it's just so pretty. And like I said, if it's like lighter than your skin tone and you aren't really like comfortable with wearing shades like this, try it out with a lip liner underneath, a darker lip liner or a lip liner that goes with your skin color and Put this on top because this is just such it's like a blush it's like blush but for your lips it's so so pretty so i'm probably gonna be wearing this in every video let's just for our next one we have wine and dine that does not want to focus yes we have wine and dine so this is gonna be a chestnut beigey color. I imagine in her next launches, she's gonna be doing a lot more colorful lipsticks because right now it's just literally like your basic beigey color. This is what Wine and Dine looks like. Ooh, that's really pretty. It's such like a rich brown color, which I love. It definitely seems to be a bit of a warmer shade for sure. My lips aren't getting dry at all trying on these lipsticks, which is crazy because I'm literally trying on like, 
I've tried on like four now and I just feel like the formula is just so moisturizing. Like I don't know what's in it. Okay, so this is that next color. Giving very fall on me. It's pretty. I can't see myself wearing it as often, obviously, as the lighter shades just because it is more bold on my skin tone. And now we are getting into the even darker shades. We have Tiramisu, which is a really cute name for lipstick. Tiramisu is a beigey mauve. I don't know what mauve is. Is that like, oh, it's like a purple. Okay, so this might be the more cool toned, like dark brown color. So interesting to call that tiramisu because I feel like tiramisu would be more of like a warm brown. This shade is fighting me a little bit. Doesn't want to go on as easy on the first swipe. I have been wiping my lips with makeup wipes, but I let it dry in between. And I'm just feeling like this lipstick is not as pigmented as the other ones that I've been trying. I mean, it looks nice. It's like a brown color. Definitely more of a cool toned brown than the other one. The other one was more reddish for sure. Yeah, it's like almost a little bit lighter maybe. I'm not sure. I think it could be a little bit lighter. Um, and I think the formula is a little bit more see-through than the other ones. Um, but again, it could be because I've been like wiping my lips with like lipstick remover, but I don't know. I let it dry, so it hasn't been affecting the other ones really, so I don't really know. That's what it looks like on my arm compared to the other ones. This is what it looks like on my lips. I think it's pretty. Like I probably would wear this more than the reddish one because the reddish one just gives me like emo vibes for some reason. Our last and final lipstick is Twilight. And this one is Twilight. Oh my gosh, that, that instantly gives me a vision. And that vision is vampires. Um, okay, so this is like a beige cocoa. It's super interesting when celebrities come out with makeup brands to see like what's their aesthetic gonna be, like what's the type of products they'll come out with and stuff like that, so. Oh yeah, this one is like straight up brown energy. This is so pretty. This, okay, this one maybe now might be my favorite from the browns, I don't know. This is what it looks like. It's this one down here. So you can tell it's like in between those shades. I actually think I would wear this one the most out of all of the brown colors just because it's like a straight brown. So I think it kind of goes with like what I'm wearing even a little bit more than the other one did. I mean, I thought the other one was like a pure brown, but now I'm kind of understanding a lot more what the colors are. So bubbly is a cool tone pink. Roller skates is a neutral pink. Drive-In Movie is a warm pink. Wine and Dine is a warm brown. Tiramisu is a cool tone brown and Twilight is a neutral brown. Now, of course, there are a bit of shade variations within this. This is the lightest one, this is the darkest one, but I think that, in my opinion, that sort of like cool tone, neutral, warm is consistent with these colors. And it's nice because it makes like buying lipsticks a lot more simple when there's just like a set and it's like, this is this and this is that and this is that. You know what I mean? So hopefully when she releases other colors, it'll be like a similar vibe. That is it for today's video, you guys. Um, let me know if you guys, you know, enjoyed seeing the lipstick collection and if you were to pick one color which one would you pick for you guys and also which one did you like on me the most because that'll be super interesting for me because this is definitely all of these colors i would say are out of my comfort zone except for maybe the uh drive-in movie one which is like a rosy sort of color and that one is definitely my favorite on me just tell me everything i love hearing from you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video have a cute ass day don't forget to uh, subscribe if you want to see the part two because part two will be coming out with all of the literally all of the rest of the products um, And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye